Okay guys, we've managed to uh, fit the top plate and the bottom plate together. It's a wee bit fiddly, but it's easy enough to do. Okay, right, standoffs. I'll take these out. There should be four of those. So there is. These go in there. Then we have these screws and these ones left, which we have not used for anything yet. I can't see a use for these. Um, I might be missing something, unsure yet. Um, if I do come across, I will update, but again, I don't see any use. Now, there's some small black ones here. Um, I think these are the correct. No, they're too small. So obviously they're not for there. So we have found a use for these after all. Okay, let's just test one. Yep, seems to fit. Okay. I believe it's the... Yep, first hole. The easiest way I find is just to pick through the bottom. Put your finger over it, put the stand off over the top, and just twist it tight. Move on to the next one. Four of these to do. Last one. Okay. Now the way that this works, and it's probably one of the, the only one that I've seen so far. Um, there might be another one out there. I'm not hundred percent sure, but it works in the correct process as that it compresses. So these parts will be attached to your quad, hexa, whatever. And it's the weight of the gimbal pulling down on your camera that compresses them, that makes them more sturdier. And they are actually quite stiff when they're compressed. You know, because you don't want them too stiff, you'll get vibration too soft and you will get a lot of jello. Okay. Right, I think the next step will be to take off the your arm and fit this motor feed the cable up through the top That's fiddly here we go gently does it and then line up the four holes then I believe we'll take the, the smaller and the screws, uh, no, the longer ones, sorry. Again, the black. And there's four of these to go in the top, which does line up. 
There we go. So it was slightly out of shot and line that up. Um, as I said, try and when you're tightening these up, just nip the first one up just a wee bit. And then do it diagonally. Helps align it, keep it square. Obviously these are the ones that are holding your valuable camera into in the air. So these are something that I would probably check on a regular basis. Um, there's also a few mods that I might make to this myself. One is a thin wire, if it's possible, comes down from the quad hexa and down to the actual pitch arm. I'm not sure yet. One of the questions that I did see asked on, I think it was RC Groups, by a member was, is there going to be much room for HDMI cable? Um, the answer to that, I'm afraid, is if you mounted this way, would be no. I would not have said so. Um, I might be wrong. Um, what I would say is that you do is turn it that way. That's all you have to do. And your camera then, obviously your Sony NX5 would sit there and obviously your HDMI cable line extension then port is out this side which is, can easily go up a um, couple of things there's the part there for your sensor um, on this one that won't mount because obviously I've got the motor too high that would obviously be sorry about that, I think the camera battery is getting done but anyway as you can see there's two holes here and you can put your sensor there you go, sorry about that the battery seemed to die in the camera ok as I was saying um, you have your sensor on your board and this can be mounted two holes here that's to be mounted on there and while I was waiting for the battery to charge I discovered what the small black bolts are for you can see that there that's where they go again no manual I would predict that you could mount your sensor underneath there if you wanted. Um, obviously different sensor boards for different camera gimbals. Um, but yeah, the smaller hex screws, that's what they're for. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them there. Holes if you require to do so. Also for mounting your board um, onto there. Now, there you have it. That's what those screws are for. Now, it's a simple case of putting this back on. Obviously, we can't do anything more. I'm still waiting for my third axis driver board arriving from Germany um, for my Alex Moss uh, gimbal controller. Sorry, but there we have it so far.
obviously we have got to put on the NX5 which we'll do in a second back in a second okay guys you see it now with all put together with the Sony NX5 on it done a quick wee bit of balancing but um, obviously it'll need to be balanced properly it but I mean it's still not right yet perfect but the pitch seems to be holding quite well so that's good so we're just waiting on our three axis controller arriving and we will obviously get our video done but I hope you enjoyed the build video and I hope it assists you in your build anyway guys thanks for watching much appreciated bye for now